Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manage a starter group policy objects in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. Starter GPO allows administrators to create a load based GPOs with pre configured administrative template settings and values which can be used to pre populate new group policy objects. If any starter GPOs exist, an administrator creating a new group policy object will have the option of using any existing starter GPO to pre populate newly created GPOs with a number of setting values. Administrators can create new starter GPOs customized for the organization's needs. Starter GPUs can be viewed within the GPMC and can be edited using the Group Policy Starter GPU Editor, but the files are stored within the Domain Controller Syswall folder. Microsoft provides some starter GPUs that will be automatically installed when starter GPU functionality is enabled. In the last video, we have seen the steps on how to create starter GPO and how to create a new GPO using the starter GPO. This video contains procedures for managing starter group policy objects using the group policy management console in Windows Server 2022. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. Starter GPOs can be created or added to a domain in a few ways. A starter GPO can be created from scratch using a blank template. It can be created by restoring from a starter GPO backup folder or it can be imported from a provided starter GPO cabinet file. In the last video, we have used GPMC to create a starter GPO graphically. This time, we will use Windows PowerShell to create a new starter GPO. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. In the Windows PowerShell window, type command new hyphen GP starter GPO hyphen name. Then you have to specify the name of your starter GPO. In this example, I'm going to specify name my starter GPO. So our whole command is going to be new hyphen GP starter GPO hyphen name my starter GPO and press enter key. The Windows PowerShell window will show the results of the new starter GPO creation. To check the status of my starter GPO, type command get hyphen GP starter GPO hyphen name my starter GPO. Press enter key to see the result. So we have successfully created one new starter GPO named my starter GPO using Windows PowerShell. Type exit and hit enter key to close the Windows PowerShell window. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Expand your forest, domains, and then the domain in which you want to manage a starter GPO if there is more than one domain. Click on Starter GPOs under your domain. Here we can see the starter GPO which we have created using the PowerShell. There are two types of starter GPOs. System and Custom. System Starter Group Policy Objects are read-only starter GPOs that provide a baseline of settings for a specific scenario. System Starter GPOs are created automatically while custom ones are created manually. You can determine whether a starter GPO is a System Starter GPO or Custom GPO by clicking on Starter GPO. Under Type, we can see Two system GPUs are there and two custom GPUs are there. Backing up and restoring starter GPUs is a simple operation that can be performed using the GPMC. Starter GPUs can be backed up individually or all the starter GPUs can be backed up together. The backup functionality of the GPMC allows for the backup of multiple versions of the same GPUs which can all be stored in a single folder. Let's backup all starter GPUs using GPMC. 
right click the starter GPO's container and click on a backup all button. Specify the backup location to store the backup. Click on browse. Temporary, we will store backup on desktop under the folder named STGPO Backup. Enter a description of the backup. Once you enter a description of the backup, click the backup button to backup the started GPUs. In the backup window, review the status of the backup and click OK when the backup completes. Four started GPUs were successfully backed up. Click OK. We recommend that you use the designated backup folder to store the backups. The description of the backup make it very easy to differentiate between starter GPU backups and domain GPU backups even though they can be stored in the same folder. We can backup all starter GPUs using this method which also includes version or revision history of each and every starter GPU. A single starter GPU can also be backed up individually or it can be saved as a cabinet file. To individually back up a single starter GPU, select the desired starter GPU, right click it and then click the backup button. Specify the folder location to store the backup. Enter a description of the backup and click the backup button to back up the selected starter GPU. Review the status of the backup and click OK when the backup completes. OK, backup has been done. Let's delete one of the existing starter GPU to test the backup. Right click the starter GPU you want to delete and then select a delete. Click OK to confirm deletion. The starter GPU has been deleted. Now let's restore it from the backup. Right click starter GPUs and then click manage backups. In the backup location box, type the path for the backup folder. You can also use browse to look at the backup folder. Select the starter GPU that you want to restore from the list of starter GPU backups. Let's select T starter GPU 1. If a filtered view is desired, check the show only the latest version of each starter GPU's checkbox. To view the settings of a particular backed up GPU, select the desired starter GPU and click the view settings button. This will open the settings of the starter GPU in web browser. Here we can see the configured settings of the starter GPU. Close the browser window after the settings are reviewed. After the desired startup GPU is determined, select the starter GPU backup and click the restore button. Click OK in the restore confirmation dialog box to restore the starter GPU. Review the GPU restored progress and click OK when it completes. After the operation completes, click on close to close manage backups window. We can confirm T starter GPU 1 has been restored successfully. You can also import or export starter GPUs which makes them easy to distribute to other environments. Starter GPUs can be exported or saved as individual cabinet files which are .cab files. Starter GPU cabinet files can be used to create new starter GPUs or can be used to move starter GPUs between isolated test and production active directory environments. To save an individual starter GPU as a cabinet file, first select a single starter GPU and at the bottom of the pane, click save as cabinet file. For this example, we have selected test starter GPU 1. Type the name of the file in the file name box. Optionally, you can select other folders if you want to change the location where the cabinet file is saved. We will save it under documents folder. Click on save. Perfect. Now let's again delete the starter GPU. Let's right click on test starter GPU 1, uh, click on delete, click OK to delete it. We have already exported that starter GPU into .cab file. We can use that .cab file to import any starter GPU into starter GPU folder. Click the starter GPU's node and at the bottom click on load cabinet. Then click Browse for cab. 
Use the load starter GPU dialog box to locate the starter GPU cabinet file you want to load. Click the file name and click on open. Click OK to complete the import. Confirm that the starter GPU has been successfully imported. Remember, this is not the restore. Using the .cap file, we can export starter GPU from one domain and import it inside the another domain. An organization may determine that starter GPU functionality should be removed. In those situations, it is quite easy to disable starter GPU functionality. Our domain name is msaptivwebcast.com. Open Run menu, tap UNC path msaptivwebcast.com and press Enter key. This example is for the msaptivwebcast.com domain. Substitute your Active Directory DNS domain name with msaptivwebcast.com. When the network path opens, open syswall folder, access amaseptivwebcast.com. One of the folders shown here is the starter GPUs folder. Right click the folder and delete the entire folder. Click yes to permanently delete this. Close the Windows Explorer window. Open the group policy management console again if you have closed it. On top bar, click on refresh to update the information in Group Policy Management. Click on Starter GPUs node and verify that the Starter GPU functionality is now disabled. If Starter GPUs are now disabled, there will be a Create Starter GPU folder button, which we have seen at the beginning in the last video. The task is now complete, so close the Group Policy Management console. Removing Starter GPU functionality will not affect any domain group policies that were previously created using any starter GPUs. That's all for this video on how to manage starter GPUs using group policy management console in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.